good midnight. My name is Chi Level Seven, and this is um, Pokemon X and Y Battle Spot. So this is day two of the online competition of EV Friendly Master Division, and so far, um, last time, or I should say, in day one, I have played four battles, and one only one time, and lost three times. So I have have the feeling that I probably won't be able to record 30 battles given that I have only battled four times and then probably I might be battling four times on day two as well because I don't think I'll be able to record all 30 maybe I might be able to do 12 at best but it's better than nothing so instead of the introduction we're just gonna click the battle button And we are searching for an opponent. So current time now is July 12th. I mean, yeah, current 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 date is July 12th, and the time is 3:36 a.m. All right. So what we have here is a Sylveon, Vaporeon, Flareon, Leafeon, Glaceon, and Umbreon. Quite a very bulky team here. <laughs> Might as well bring a paralyzed inducer because looks like it did looks like he or she did not bring Jolteon along. Leave you on so I can try and set up some sword stances. Are Sylveon just against Umbreon? No. Flareon and Vaporeon, okay. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna use my fire, water, grass, electric core. Why did I not get to use Sylveo for quite a while here? Okay, use. We just use Sylveo just for once. All right, so we are ready to battle. Match number five, I believe. Alright, so Alexandre is issuing a challenge. And the lead Pokemon is Jotion. Okay, so you have a Sylveon in front. Might as well spread paralysis and hopefully the Parahax can help out. So you're gonna use Thunder Wave. We land the paralysis, not bad. Now, oh, okay. And yeah, my special attack fell, of course. Hmm. But you have a Flareon in, in your side. Maybe I'll try and use Aqua Ring. Yeah, let's let's do that. I might be able to survive longer with Aqua Ring. Oh, we landed paralysis. Not bad. That's great. Maybe I might try and use a substitute. <laughs> I'm afraid Moonblast is gonna break it though. Hmm. Maybe I'll try and set up some sword stances. No, but I'm afraid it's gonna hit me. <laughs> I'll try it. Let's go first another sword stance. Okay, so I got plus two attack now. Oh, see? That's what I was scared about. Hmm. Maybe I have to use Scald. Yeah. I'll use that instead.
I'm gonna use Moonblast again. Please don't lower my special attack. Oh, yeah, it's gonna break my sub. That's that's actually bad. Yeah, so unfortunately, I may not be able to make substitute because this Moonblast is gonna break it. <sighs> Alright, so I'm gonna have leftovers recovery and and um, that um, aqua ring recovery. I don't know if I don't know if he's gonna, he or she is gonna rotate, but if if Sylveon's not gonna be rotated, I might be able to land a single blow. No, but what if Flareon's here? What if? <clears throat> we'll just have to see about that. Nope, you did not rotate. Catch this leaf blade. The problem is, even though I got plus two, that life orb is gonna wear down Leafeon. Which is bad. Okay, so I have an Umbreon, huh? Okay. Oh, the passerby is gonna trade with me, but unfortunately, I'm very busy at a battle. So, <laughs> why not? I'll do it afterwards, but he'll probably change his mind afterwards. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna paralyze like we have done before. Alright, so hopefully the pair hack comes through. Nope. One of them's gonna go down. Gosh darn it. Okay, I got a Sylveon with me as well. Alright, so since I just paralyzed Glaceon, maybe I can try and do something else here. Maybe I could set up a Calm Mind. Yeah, so yeah, let's do that. So, if I click Combine, I get plus one on special. Yep. Got a plus one special attack, plus one special defense, so I might be... Oh, critical hit, critical hit. Oh no, get ready. Take it for me, yes. <laughs> oh my god. I think I have might have to um, swap a Pokemon who can resist... Frost Breath and then go for the Scod or maybe Substitute. Let's try Substitute. Maybe I might be able to take Frost Breath without breaking the sub. Uh, can it? Could it break the sub? Um, no, it did it. Good, very good. <laughs> Not bad. Alright, so it's gonna use protect and then you can rotate all you like. <laughs> Just hopefully nobody presses the forfeit button because this is starting to get interesting now. Okay, and then yep. I regained back almost exactly as much health as it is from uh, last time. And let's go for Scott again. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Now it's Fire Blast. Okay, not bad. It's not very effective, but I think the substitute will fade. Yep. Aww. However, I am able to land my Scott. So catch this, yes, and you may not be burned. Okay, but since you rotated Flareon, I might have to paralyze you once again. Or maybe a, maybe land a Thunderbolt. Oh wait, my Jolteon is dead. Okay, never mind then, let's do, let's do something else. He's a Psyshock. 
Okay, so it just used Fire Blast. And... I don't know, hold on. Oh wait, I don't have to hold on. Let's click Scott again. Rotate, rotate. Okay, not bad. Good, you rotated. Double Edge? Uh-oh. Ah, and you're faster than my Vaporeon, too. Okay, so... Catch this Scald. Please land a burn. No, it we can't. We can't land a burn. We can't. <sighs> Why not? Okay, so I'm gonna use Protect again so I can get all of my health back. And then it protects from any residual damage. Yep. And it tries to use Psychic against me. And we're gonna get recovery and we're back to full health. Ah, not bad. However, I think I'm going to land a Moonblast pretty soon. I don't know. It's trying to use... It's trying to use Psychic. Or Double Edge. Alright, so let's go for the Moonblast. I think I don't think I've ever used Sylveon before, but now I just did. Okay, you're gonna um, go back to your Glaceon there, and you're gonna use Ice Beam. Okay, okay. And I guess we could use Scott back and forth again. So yeah, let's do that. We should be able to take out Glaceon in this range, unless the opponent decided to rotate. Okay, you rotated it rotated to Flareon. It's gonna use Fire Blast. It's gonna hit me for massive damage. It only hits me for 22 damage, not bad. And Flareons get taken down by a Scald attack. Two of the evolutions are down. I think each turn Vaporeon recovers one eighth of its maximum HP, so it probably um, neuters, neuters poison or burn damage, it, but not for toxic. Alright, so we're gonna set up a sub again because why not? <laughs> why not? Unless you decided to rotate. No, you don't. Are you gonna hit me with an ice beam? And I think I can take it very well. It's not very effective. I think if it was a critical hit, it would have break the sub. It's probably the most stallest, stalliest match I ever played. <laughs> but it has to be done. You gonna protect once again? Just want to be making sure on the safe side. Ice Fang. Okay, so he's trying to use weaker attacks to try and break the sub and save the powerful, stronger attack for later. Alright, so I think I can um, now start to rotate uh, Sylveon um, back into the front. Then we should be able to land a crushing blow to pretty much anything that comes in our way. Okay, so Glaceon is down. All it's got left is a uh, Umbreon. Alright, so last but not least, we can able we should be able to land the final blow. Okay, you're gonna use double edge. Coming from the base 65 attack. Nice and powerful. I'm afraid that Moonblast though, with a plus one that I just got. Yep, we took down a final one. I don't think I would call it a flawless um, victory, but I've been very careful. <laughs> but anyways, that's GG. But that's probably took a lot longer. Like, I might have played 20 or 25 turns. I might as well save the battle to check how many turns I actually spent. So, and because I'm actually interested on how many times I um, use an attack. Alright, so right now we're 15, I'm 15 minutes on the clock. 
Might as well um, find another. Might as well find another match. So far, got two wins and three losses. And oh, are you kidding me? Communication with the other trainer was interrupted. It's not my fault. I got very good connection here. Let's try again, shall we? Gosh darn it! We got too many disconnects happening. Hoping there's not going to be another disconnect because, come on, that happened one time before, like yesterday. Are you kidding me? Communication with other trainers interrupted. That is not good. Stop disconnecting. I know there's nothing wrong with my, with my um, with my Nintendo 3DS because of the wireless signal. I'm actually in the same room as where the connection signal is supposed to be so I have maximum strength I don't think we'll be able to search oh okay we we have a Japanese opponent yep not uh, I'm not surprised okay so oh Eevee's here um, Eevee, Espeon, Sylveon, Flareon, Espeon and Jolteon I have a feeling it's going to be a trick room setting um, team because I heard from many people that Eevee is trying to be the slowest Pokemon there so it can use Curse and it's going to use it's going to use a uh, return or double edge while going first so I'm kind of scared about that so I might as well bring in bring in um, one or two special attackers but I need something to paralyze first. But what if the opponent sends sends out a Jolteon? Hmm. Okay, so I pick Jolteon, Vaporeon, Sylveon, and Embryon. Hmm. What do, what does Embryon have here? Yeah, I might need the bulk. I need the bulk. Okay, so music number four is the gym leader's music. And I try to keep tapping, but it didn't res it didn't respawn. I was aiming for music number eight, but oh well, it doesn't matter. All right, so Jolteon's taking the lead once again. And what do you have here? It's an Eevee on the front. Yeah, we need we need all the para hacks we can get so that. Trick room doesn't get set up as soon as uh, Eevee's gonna start rampaging around. Rampage. Um, <laughs> okay, let's go. Thunder Wave and Synchronize does nothing to me. Are you kidding me? Okay, protect. What do you have here? You have adaptability, uh, runaway, and anticipation. So those other two abilities are very bad. But adaptability seems to be Eevee's only choice. Okay, yeah, there's gonna be trick room setting up. Oh wow, magic bounce! I forgot about that. <sighs> yep, I'm screwed. <laughs> Should have just used Aqua Ring. Oh well. How would I know in early in turn one? Or maybe I should have start thinking before blindly trying to para hacks. Hmm. I can try using Scott and hope to land the burn. So yeah, let's go for let's go for Scott. Yep, you are sending your EV back. Last resort. How? Oh no no. Okay. Do you only have protect in last resort? Eh, okay. This is bad. I did not. I wasn't able to land the burn. So. That's actually pretty bad. I'm gonna keep using last resort. I'm gonna keep stalling until you run out of last resort because I'm actually pretty scared of. of Eevee now. Like, completely scared. 
I mean, I could use Jolteon because it has a Focus Sash, and I could use a Thunderbolt or two. So yeah, why not? Just switch to. Wait, but you have Trig Room setting up too. Wow, are you kidding me? That's a pixelated uh, double edge. Holy crap! Oh, you didn't get the pair of hacks, that's bad. Gosh darn it. Am I, even though... Even though I've seen some unevolved Pokemon, I'm probably already scared by now because... I mean, I might have information of what they do, so I might be scared. And the opponent is still thinking, so... I already used my, I already used my attack, I used Protect. Okay, there goes your EV. But it failed. What do you mean? No! Oh, this is bad. Wow, I forgot about... Oh, well, not forgot, but I didn't know that Protect... I didn't know that Protect was... Was... Was uh, unsuccessful, even though I rotated uh, the Porion out. That's bad. Shoot. Alright, so I'm gonna use Payback because anything I try to do with Espeon now that it got Magic Bounce does nothing. Oh my god. So yeah, I need to use Payback. See if Espeon takes heavy damage from Payback. But I don't have a high, uh, I don't have high attack. Shoot, I went first. What the? <laughs> no. Return? Darn it, it is pixelate. <sighs> yeah, Rocky Helmet's not going to do anything to help me now. I'm going to land a Thunderbolt. I just have to. I just have to do this. Why do you have to bring in physical attackers? I'm surprised. Okay, I rotated. You rotated, Espeon. You're gonna set up a trick room. Oh my god, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna do anything to help against what would be the most terrifying Pokemon to face. Uh, I don't... I haven't even landed a single blow against... I mean, haven't even landed a single KO at the moment yet in this match. Okay, you rotate it to the left. I use Quick Attack, which does no damage. And you're gonna hit me with the Moon Blast and yep. Oh no. I got no more Quick Attack abusers now. Okay, looks like I have to use what I got left because this is bad. Okay, let's see, you're gonna use Psy Shock, but what if Espeon comes to resist that? Oh, Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball can take out um, Espeon, but Eevee's gonna be immune to it. Alright, might as well go for the Stab Attack. And uh, for some reason, your Sylveon's slower than my Sylveon. Are you kidding me? Wow. Too powerful. Did you just invest your EVs, EVs into attack? Yeah, Sylveon's down too due to recoil. <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter what you send out because you're already winning. Wow, that match didn't last long. Last long enough though. <laughs> I can't do anything anymore. Just pick Flare Blitz and you win.
Well, I'm getting my I'm getting my butt handed into Evie's hands now. <laughs> wow. But yeah, that's an actually very good strategy though, but seems to me that I assume that I mean, I haven't tried many many stuff yet. All right, so that's going to be it for this episode. We just um, we just played two battles, won once and lost once. And when I come back, we're going to continue on where we left there. So that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.